presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to our man, Al in Homo Sasa. What's going on, brother? It's, isn't it wonderful? I went ahead and invested in your uh, Tiger Dollars, <laughs> and I went ahead and got the gold report <laughs> for a year, and, and also your, morning, your, your call letter and stuff like that. Like that and I got over fifty percent return in one day, not counting uh, everything else. But I just want to thank you. Tom's not perfect, but he tells you how to put your stops in, and he keeps your losses small. You can take your small losses, but then all of a sudden you'll be like Babe Ruth, and you'll hit a home run. I mean, a big home run. Yeah. And put the money in your pocket. Okay, I mean, brother. I You're awesome, man. Thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Don't make assumptions. Learn to ask questions. It is always better to ask questions than make an assumption. Have the courage to ask questions until you're as clear as you can be. Once you hear the answer to that question, you won't have to make the assumption because you will know the truth. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 144, NASDAQ up 98, S&P's up 26. Gold, gold contract trading up $8.50 at 1872 an ounce. We have silver flat, $21.92 an ounce. Light sweet crude, down 47 cents. $85.91 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note, down five ticks, trading 107.22. The 30-year down two at 111.31, and king dollar. King dollar's down 240 ticks, trading out at a price point of 105.843. I'm going to show you a second. We, it broke its uptrend. The euro's at 105, yen's at 148, British pounds at 122 to one US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. So in the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, you're going to have a slow grind here. That's what you're going to have. And that's just enough to get everyone totally, you know, basically on both sides of the market saying, no, 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 it's going to break down. Oh, yes, 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 it's going to go up. Bottom line. What you had with the SPY out here today, the SPY just got inside its larger range. That's another indication that we're going up for the highs, okay? Bottom line, we got inside that 433.01. You're at 434.925. We go into the Qs, which are leading the charge. What you have with the Qs, Qs out here, they were only under that swing point for one day. And what you have out here, the Qs are trading up 257, 369.13, and we go to the notes and bonds. Why the notes and bonds? Because the bottom line is that if interest rates have topped, my, my take is that interest rates have topped. So we'll see how this shakes out. But uh, bottom line, you have the 10 year right now, rejected lower price today at 107.10. You're at 107.22. It's only a couple days up, okay? What we had done, though, is that we had come down and didn't break out the bottom last Thursday. You can see what happened here. You, you came down hard. You know, you didn't get to the bottom. Well, the bottom, that bottom was 106.03. Uh, we got to a price point of uh, 106.06, and it had lighter volume rejected it. That's always a good indication that just might have a bottom coming in. So we'll see how that shakes out. More so than anything, though, it, it has to do, well, it has to do with that, because if, in fact, the rates start going down, you'll see the weaker dollar. And what you have here, you can see what we have out here, the bottom line, is that since July 14th, the dollar hadn't been down more than two days. 
In this particular case, we're down five days, but what we also just did is that we also broke its uptrend. You broke the channel line. So now the question's gonna be, okay, you get, you get a nice, it's a nice break. It's a nice break, down 255 ticks, not bad, it's a quarter of a penny. You can see it's, it's, it's a decisive break. So when you break something like this, your first get-go is right there. Your first get-go is saying, okay, we're at 105,800. Now, 104,690 is gonna be a lot of support because if you break that, then you're going back inside the lower range. Now, that's one way of looking at it. Another way of looking at it is that when you do break a channel line, guess what, you know? This is all the, the Bud Rolfs deal. Now watch how this goes, right? You, let's picture this. You can go down to that level, then you got a counter trend bounce, and then it goes back up and test that channel, then you fall apart. Either way, bottom line, my take is that this market wants higher price, the metals want higher price, and we'll see what shakes out. You take a look at the gold market out here, you know, there's not enough volume in this gold market right now. 148,000 contracts. I want to see something like 215, 220. That's when you know you get some real buyers inside the gold market. You're up eight bucks, but gold can get down like 20 bucks in about a heartbeat. So inside the NDX 100, let's take a look at the strength, uh, who, what's running the NDX. Oh, look at this, what a joke that is. So you got Lucent, the car maker, up seven and a half, eight and a half percent. You got uh, Dollar Tree up 3.5%, and Electronic Arts is up 3.2%. Taken away from it. Netflix is down 2.5%. You get Fast and All, yeah, which is off uh, 1%. Inside the Dow Industrials. Let's take a look at the Dow Industrials. This would be point wise now. You have uh, Boeing up 33 points, Home Depot, uh, they're putting 33 point, positive points in the Dow. Home Depot 27, Caterpillar 17, Visa 15, take it away from it, United Health 12, Travelers 7. If we give it an update on the Friedman uh, trial, this, this guy, this is guy, you know, the, the, the difference between him and Madoff is that this is a young guy that's going to be going away for a long period of time. So you just had out here today, you know, the bottom line is that uh, his two close associates, you know, on the stand, basically giving a firsthand uh, accountability of uh, just how much money they all stole. <laughs> you know, that's the bottom line. But what he, what has happened is that you get these two that flipped, meaning that they're now working for the prosecution, and he's going away forever, folks. I don't know, like, how. I guess the difference is, is that if he if he's 30 years old, I, who knows? He's going away forever, though. This is this is a Madoff all over again, except that it's a lot more money. Stay right there, folks. Good our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, coming up. We have the Dow Industrials up 147, Nasdaq's up 96, S&P's up 25. We're coming right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up 149. You get the NASDAQ up 100. S&Ps are up 27. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also, it's a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get Basil's newsletter, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. Going to go into newsletters. You see it right on the left-hand side, the opening call. You can get the opening call for one month for $149. You get it for six months to six ninety five, which is a savings of one hundred ninety nine dollars or twenty two percent, and you get it for one year for eleven ninety five, which is a savings of five hundred ninety three dollars or thirty three percent. Now they all come, folks, with a thirty day money back guarantee. So no matter which one you pick, if it works for you, awesome. For some reason it doesn't, twenty ninth day, just cancel it. And Basil has a huge amount of archives out there that you can really understand how to ride that wave. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Well, what's going on is what's going off. I was in the middle of uh, the show. I, I was able to set some time aside to uh, do the heavy show in Larry's uh, suffering from COVID. And it was going well, and suddenly everything just went off, everything. And then I finally got through to Comcast, and it turns out someone had cut the cable, and they're going to spend a couple of hours oh. replacing it. Isn't that well, wild how we live and die by and you, cable you, and you internet? I can't believe, uh, yeah, you're so, I'm so, and I've got backups and everything, but yep. I've got my laptop when I, I'm out of town, when I'm overseas or anywhere around, I always, I can use my laptop, it's all set up, but it's set up to go to my desktop, which has my my charts that I use all the time. Sure. So <laughs> so I'm staying at a Dow that says Dow up 185. I'm not sure what it's up right now, but 144. Yeah. It's a, yeah. So I I thought I'd just do this quickly because I wanted to give an overview. So Basil, first off, where where like are you? Are you visiting your son in New York? Uh, update. I, so so you were going to say? Yeah, are you visiting your son in New York? No, I'm actually right here in my office. Oh, okay, and, okay, uh, I got it, I got it, okay, I, okay cool. I got cut off, but I'm saying that I, when I use my laptop, I can be anywhere in the world right. and connect, but I connect to my desktop. Sure, uh, yeah. My, at, at my home office. Right. So, all right. So we're looking at the Dow right now. One of the things I had looked at and I discussed on my show quite often was the low that was made on the 25th of May in the Dow and the high that was made on August the 1st 
um, at 35,679, which actually is where we went short the down. We still short that position. Um, oh, I'm looking. At, we're back. I, I think I got my internet back, but it's too late. I'm, I'm looking at you on my laptop. <laughs> so um, that was the exact number of days to, to October the 6th on Friday. That's well, crazy. Then, you know, I use bar symmetry yeah, so that yeah. in, a, in a cup formation, the bottom from the left side high can go to the right side high in the same number of bars. And in the arch formation from the bottom to the top and then back again is exactly the same. I actually have to make you a little... I'm sorry, Tom, I have to make you a little quieter on my, my laptop. There it is. Yeah. That's all right. So, I, I'm um, just... Actually, as you're talking, I, I, I see what you're saying. So I put up a chart. And showing the audience right what you're talking about. Cool, man. Yeah. I, I'll, I'll do that on my show tomorrow. My Tiger Technicians yep. I did it this morning as well. So it's the exact number of bars. So with that in mind, I was preparing that we should start a long, just a trading position, which we have now. We actually have the three times long Dow um, because I thought we try to want, want to maximize whatever we can because – how the big test is that the 200 period moving average is going to be very important if we turn down from there and it hits it exactly today at 33,898. So we'll see what happens after this. We've taken little bits off to, to, to garner some really quick, very nice profits uh, in that position. Then the other one was the QQQ, the NDX 100. I've been using the nine period moving average over or under the 14 period moving average as a kind of a benchmark for the turns in the Dow when we got that turn on exactly the 1st of August in the Dow to the downside. I was using on balance volume for that plus some other indicators. But the nine period moving average took about 11 sessions before it turned negative in the daily. Well, I've been looking at this and the weekly chart of the QQQ, the index 100 trading vehicle, hasn't turned gr hasn't turned pink. It's still green. Wow. So I thought, okay. If there is going to be a bounce, I'm sure that it's going to incorporate a uh, hack, which is the uh, which we've missed the buy signal in. Even though I wanted to get it, we missed it, and that's the uh, cybersecurity ETF. It was acting so well on Friday early morning. And the S&P had already made a low three days uh, on Wednesday, two days before that. So we went along the TQQ, which is, Q, which is three times along the um, Qs, just on a short, uh, small, short-term trading position. And one of the reasons is if that weekly chart holds well, it means that it hasn't even given a sell signal yet. And that's a good sign. And you've had this rotation through the through the big cap. So because the hack, the stocks that I like in hack are also in the uh, in the QQQ, I thought this would be a good opportunity to do that. And then I was looking at the financials, and they've been acting so poorly. But I thought if this uh, if the bonds are able to get some kind of traction to the upside then the financials should benefit a little bit. But I didn't want to go to the standard banks. We usually go to Bank of America. I said, no, I think we're going to go to an electronic banking system, be a little bit more contemporary because uh, it, it has the, um, the, the panache. It has that extra, you know, something interesting about it because it's mostly um, using high technology. So we bought a, a, a Minta. I have, I'm not going to give the name. It's not free to my subscribers because we just got it and it's done fabulously. But we got a very low priced internet banking stock, and that's been quite well. So I'm being very selective on the moves. And even more importantly, is that the dollar, uh, even though it's pulled back, and I, can't, I don't know what the dollar is doing right now, but that does help because I, I drew in, a, a, I think I've seen you do that as well, channel lines in the dollar, and it was just testing a very important trend line right now. So I think if the dollar, I haven't got any technical indicators that say the dollar is going to weaken a lot. I see that it can pull back a little bit, but um, and we are along the dollar. But if the dollar starts to pull back, I think it can help the general market because they, they have been, I wouldn't say tied exactly together, but. The, the strength of the dollar has been impacting the market. Sure, sure. So, yeah, so I thought I'd give a little bit of an overview here. You know, it's funny, Basil, when I was listening to your show this morning, and folks, you know, where Basel lives is a beautiful place, man. Great schools, just a great city. I used to go out there all the time because that is one of the best bagel shops in Boston, right? 
And Basil was talking about how many Teslas were in his neighborhood. And yeah. they'd probably kick you out, Basil, if you came in with a muscle car. <laughs> <laughs> you're correct. You're correct about that. But it is fascinating. It's just so funny. I mean, I, I look around and uh, they, they're almost as common as uh, yeah. the Prius. I mean, right. it, it's very interesting, but they have dropped the prices. And if you look at the chart, right. the chart is holding really well. It's the only electric company, <coughs> electric uh, vehicle company that has done so well. And it's really, it's, it's, I, I think of them as the old guys on the block. Because they've been around for a while. And they're fast as anything, those Teslas, man. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. they're incredible. Well, listen, yeah, Basil, thanks quiet. for coming on, yeah. man. I really appreciate it. You have a great night, safe night. Glad you got your internet back, and I look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you very much, Tom. You too. Okay, stay right there, folks. We get the Dow up 135, NASDAQ up 98, S&P's up 26. We're coming right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, the Tiger Zen, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with the Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In the Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. FNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now are trading up 130, NASDAQ up uh, 95, S&P's up 25. And uh, let's get over to our man, Mr. Tim Ord, folks. And don't forget, you can reach Tim every trading day at ord-oracle.com. That's ord-oracle.com. And if you've been following Tim, uh, you know, as these interviews have been taking place, the bottom line, you know, we'll let him uh, give us an update. But the bottom line is that I think that sign of strength coming off the bottom, I think we got some action out here. Yeah. Tim Ward, yeah, what's going do. on? <laughs> How you doing? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? 
No, oh, good, 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 good. I, I sent over a bunch of charts, but maybe too many, but... No, there's not know, too we'll many, man. Uh, listen, man, after, you know, the last time we had talked and, you, you know, you felt, you said specifically, I think it's here, I think it's right here. And sure enough, the next day, man, bang, we had that sign of strength in the S&P, man. It was pretty cool. Right. Well, actually, we could... We got some charts kind of leading up to this, but maybe we can just go to that sign of strength chart. That uh, okay. um, let's, let's do that first. It's just it's, 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 it's for for right now. Let's say this bicycle is legitimate. Yes. So, um, what chart guess, was that, Tim? What number? Yeah, you go to chart four. Four. Okay. One, two, three, four. I got it. Okay. Cool. All right. So. It's, we can go back, you know, if we got time, we'll go back and how we create this signal. But say yep. the signal that was created is a, a right signal. Well, anyhow, the, the whole thing depends on this rally. You get panic, and you have to get a sign of strength. Uh, you can do that on the bigger time frames and use the McCollin Oscar and summation index. You can also do it on a, a shorter time frame. And what we're looking at is a shorter time frame. So what I use for that is a Zwag breast thrust. Yes. We talked about that before. Yeah. And so this is, is more of a shorter term type thing. Cause you got to have, you know, uh, a selling climax, I guess. Uh, and the Zwag breast thrust indicator needs to get below 0.4. Okay. And it did, it did that first part of October. And uh, all those red lines going back to, to 2020 are the times when that indicator actually got below minus 20 and there's some other ones in there but they didn't have a sign of strength now I'll, I'll explain that in a second but anyhow you need a uh, you need a sign of weakness and right after that you need a sign of strength within 10 days and a sign of strength on the zwag breast thrust indicator uh, so you need to go below 0.4 then within 10 days you need to go above 0.6 okay and, and um uh, and this is all to do, that indicator is the uh, NYSE advancing issues uh, times the um, total issues, and that's a 10-day average. Okay. So that's that's the Zwag breast thrust. So that indicator needs to go below 0.4 yeah. up to 0.6 within 10 days. So uh, I sent this chart over. Uh, it got below um, point. I didn't write that date down. Um on tonight's reports on actually I wrote down the date and this one I didn't but we did have it here over the last I think it was last uh, Thursday no, you were on uh, Thursday we you were talking about a Thursday and then we get the sign of strength on Friday yes right sign of strength on Friday yep and uh, they got 0.49 as of uh, today we're at point uh, point five four it needs to get point six zero by next Thursday Oh, that's cool so, to know. Okay, hell, let yeah. me get this straight. That's so, really freaking cool. Okay. Yeah, it could it could happen today. Uh, I don't know what the number is going to be today, but this doesn't update until after the close. But it's got all the way till next Thursday. So in general, this rally has to have uh, advanced decline pretty strong over a ten day period for this zwag breath thrust indicator to trigger. And I've triggered, you know, that big bottom we had back in starting April of 2022 to April of 2023. Yes. We had actually three uh, Zwag breast thrust indicators. You know, the red line is a selling climax and the blue line is a buying climax. Yeah. And you had three in that time frame. So that was a good indication that the market was building a bullish bottom, not a bullish top. Right. And it's one of the reasons why I kind of remain bullish. And also there's some other stuff too, but we're not, we're not talking about the other stuff. We're talking about this is a, a wag breast thrust indicator. So anyhow, we got till next Thursday for this indicator to get point point six or above. If it does, you can have short term consolidations, but basically you have to remain bullish. Um, you know, sometimes they pull back, sometimes they don't. So we'll have to wait yeah. and see. But that probably support at forty two hundred is not going to be broken. So. Um, pretty cool. You man. can, but that's, that's probably strong support, and it hit pretty much on the money. So we're we're starting, uh, I think, a rally that probably could last a year in. Well, so you know, you know, it's amazing, Tim. Right? Th think about this for a second. Right? That you had the sign of strength on Friday, and then yep. you have over the weekend Hamas, you know, attacking Israel, 
And the S&P is just shaking off. I mean, that that's, I mean, the markets are deviant, but that said quite a bit also, right? I mean, yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's, it's what normally is bearish turns out to be bullish. Yes. You know, the sign of strength tells the story. So this market, um, especially if you get to point six, wants to go up. I know. Uh, so I know. So we're, we're not. Uh, so let's, let's, let's flip to another chart. Let's oh. flip to chart five. Five. Okay. Let me just one, two, uh, three, four. Five, six. Okay, I have it. Yep. All right. All right. So this, this is a monthly chart. Yes. And I think we showed this in four, and I was talking about 420 as being support. And the reason why that's kind of a, uh, a support line, which is basically the previous highs of, of April yes. 2022, right. April 2023, it kind of hit that top area and that found support. What I'm thinking is happening here is the head and shoulders uh, bottoms forming. The left shoulder formed in late 2021, uh, early 2022, up yeah. around that 442 yeah. to 446. Right. And I'm thinking we're forming in the right shoulder right now. And uh, the whole thing is is breaking of that neckline. The neckline comes in around 4600. So if we had a sign of strength through that 4600, then this head and shoulders bottom, you, you take the bottom of the head up to the neckline, and you add that onto the neckline, you come up with 5,700. I know, it's well, a 50, huge head and shoulders, man. <laughs> yeah, well, this, this is all conjecture right Oh, yeah, now, no, no, but, for uh, sure. This I is what I'm looking on the bigger picture. That's right. So, but, you know, 5,700 from where we are right now is 30% higher. Right. So yeah, no, that's, listen, that's a long ways up. It's it's pretty intense. I, 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 I can see that, too. I mean, because... You know, even the, yeah, man, because it's, it's pretty, it's actually pretty pretty, P-R-E-T-T-Y, this, this formation here. It really is. So I see here, let me pull this over here, one second. I'm going to pull that over for the audience so they can actually see what you're looking at. I mean, that's about as clean as you can get, man. Look at this thing. Actually, I'll bring yeah. it back. Uh, let's see, I don't need it that far. Bring it back there. You can kind of see this. I mean that's pretty laid out, man. It really is. Yeah. Well, if you also, if you know, if you take the the bottom of the COVID crash back in March 2020, yes, and you go to the high of uh, you know 2022, yeah. you only did a 50 retrace. I know, I know, I know. So stay right there, folks. So. Tim and I are going to be coming right back. Um, you can reach Tim at Ord hyphen oracle.com it's odd hyphen oracle.com uh we have the dow the dow is up 140 right now nasdaq's up 101 s&p's up 26 we'll come right back If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. 
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Tim Moy, Tom O'Brien, we do appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 132, NASDAQ's up 97, S&Ps are up 25. And so we're looking at, uh, yeah, we, we were just looking at the... Um, the head and shoulders, potential head and shoulders, uh, Tim, and the neckline. Now, where does this neckline set up again? It's uh, I got a neckline on the chart there. It's around 4,600. 4,600. Okay, cool, man. Okay. Yeah, okay. so 46. So we're, we're a ways from it, and yeah. maybe I'm putting the cart for the horse. But, you know, if, if this thing starts falling in place like I think it may, which is that the wag thrust gets to point six, then my my – my idea is that market's just going to keep going, you know, wind higher and probably, yeah. you know, to get through that uh, 4,600 on the SPX, you'll need a sign of strength, you know, so you'll need right. power to get through that. So you might see some sort of a, I don't know, explosion is the wrong word, but, uh, you know, sign of strength, you know, you need uh, to get through the neckline. So, uh, so I'm thinking the market's going to actually pick up energy as we head into year end. Right, so. because you know it's interesting, Tim. You know, you, you talked about the aspect of the percentages, you know, retracement from the last low that we had that was established out here to the low. Now we didn't even do a 0 0.382 retracement, which is amazing. Do you know what I mean? Oh, from that last low in October to yeah. the current low. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah you're right. Uh, I don't want that. I. I I should have done it, but I didn't do. I didn't think about it. No, but, that's just yeah, strong. Like I mean, it's yeah. percent retracement or, or right. Really less. Right. Cool, man. So yeah, that that could be the halfway point of the next move up. Right. So you know, it's still higher than where we are. Yes. So, Big time. <laughs> Big time. So yeah. So anyhow, it looks it looks good. You know, the news otherwise, you know, is pretty crappy out there. But yep. You know, the market knows what it's doing. So you know, don't fight the market. It's an old saying. That's a fact. So, where do you want to go? We can go and uh, show you how I created that signal, or we're going to flip over to the gold market. Whatever you want to do. Tell me where to go. Well, uh, I've got a few questions on the gold market. Let's go to chart number six. Okay. And uh, the bottom window, is, it seems to really draw the good conclusions of what the market, what this gold market kind of does as far as the equity market is concerned. Okay. So the bottom window is a 50-day average of the uh, GDX up-down volume percent. And I went back uh, 2010, and every time that market, that indicator got below minus 20, I circled in red. So you got a lot of red stuff going, across, red circles going across. The last time we got the last signal came on June 15th, 2023. And when this indicator hits below uh, minus 20, the, the market... Uh, does either uh, goes sideways or modestly down it can go either way modestly down it doesn't like crash it just yes it does go down some but it it's you know so it either flips sideways or goes down some and the average length of time i went back and actually ran the times on all these indicators when this got below before the actual turn up so anyhow when it hits minus 20 the downtrend 
is done and either the market flips sideways or goes just down modestly. When it turns up, uh, usually it's anywhere from two months to six months. Okay. And, and most of them around three or four months. But there is one in there at six months and some are just over two months. But all of them at least went two months, most of them around three or four months, and there was one at six months. So the four-month period is October 15th, which is next week. So I'm thinking we're about in the sweet spot, as time is concerned, for this GDX to turn up. Wow. Okay. So, so, so okay, now, now I, I didn't do this one either, but it's on tonight's report. When it hits below minus 20, it has... In all cases, going back to 2010, this indicator at a minimum got to plus 10. Okay. So we're at, so that'd be the minimum upside upside uh, target. So we're at minus as we're putting this, it's uh, it's right now it's minus 10.41. So what, what I'm saying is when it gets above plus 10, it can go higher, but at minimum it gets a plus ten before the market either peters out or keeps going higher. We don't that, that, know which. We'll have to wait and see when we that, get there. That's pretty cool but, to know, uh, right? Exactly. All yeah, right. it's good to know. If we get to plus ten, uh, okay. So you got to look at a bunch of other stuff, saying, "Was well, that the end of the rally, or is it going to keep going?" Right. Some have, some haven't. But they all. So this is a safe place. So you already know that time-wise, you're running out of time to go sideways. Because most it could do is six months. That would run into October, November. That'd be December. But most of them are three to four months. So we're in that sweet spot. So, yes. And we got minus plus ten to go. So we got we got, in my opinion, room to run. I guess you might say. Yeah, exactly. So, so you know, let's, let's go to one more chart. Okay. Chart seven. Yep. And we talked talked about this on the show. This is a shorter term time frame. Uh, this is. Uh, the 18-day average of the up-down volume advanced client indicator. So it takes a, it, it, all the blue area on the chart here is shows times when this indicator is above minus 10. When it's above minus 10, you're using an uptrend, and we're coming in around plus five, plus six right now. Or, okay. Excuse me, minus five, minus six. But it needs to stay above minus 10 to have the uptrend continue. What this indicator is good at doing is it shows. It does pretty good with divergences. If you notice uh, on GDX, which is the top window, uh, we hit a low in August, and we hit a lower low in early October. Yes. Well, if you look on the indicators of both those indicators, which is the bottom two windows, both made higher lows. Right. And, and if you go back and look over the times, I marked all those times when the market was making a lower low, and these indicators were making higher lows. And they all turned out to be worthwhile bottoms. And actually, same thing usually happens at tops, which is that top we had back in. I know. Yep. Um, uh, April, May period, uh, the market made a double top, and that indicator went right through the floor. And uh, so if you're long, you shouldn't have been. So, but you know, you kind of learn that, through that, indicators that, to go that long. Top, that top was so. pretty incredible, meaning that you know what had happened, folks, is that the second run, you know, almost took out the first high swing but yet this indicator that tim's talking about was saying get out of the way right now and that that's pretty about as intense as you can get tim meaning yeah really cool so, so yeah. i actually even look back in uh, 2022 uh that that uh, may uh, see february be, be april high yes of 2022 so it made a higher high yep and that if you look at both those indicators, they made lower highs. Oh, yeah. No, that's that what I'm on. I'm I know. I know. That's amazing, man. Because particularly because when that higher high was coming in, it was coming in fast and furious, man. But, yeah, guess yeah. what? The indicator was saying, see you later. Wow. Yeah, man. see you later. Yeah. So I, I don't know what's going to happen here. You know, this is, you know, if this run is just starting, which, you know, I've been kind of calling it way too early. But the indicators were, were rapid. I thought we might be only two months going sideways. You know, we're, we're going on three months going sideways. And will this one stick? You know, it's about due time that it should. This rally may stick. That's right. what I'm saying. Right. Because we've got divergence and we got some stuff. And, and I remember, I, I, I think it was a week before or last week, I bought call options because I got a few nasty emails. And they're pretty good at picking bottoms, so I went and bought calls. I love and so it. they're working out for me right now. I so. love it. Well, listen, Tim, this is always a pleasure. You have a great one, a safe one. We look forward to speaking to you on Thursday, Tim. 
All right, thank you. Thank you. Right. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. The Dow Dow Industries right now up 125. You get the NASDAQ up uh, 81. S&Ps are up uh, 23. Let's get into the 30-year uh, and take a look at the 30-year also, folks, okay? USA. There we go. So 30-year did the same thing, man. Yep. So the 30-year actually took out. When the 10-year was testing its lows, the 30-year got underneath them with light volume, then did reject them. That's a decent setup, man. So we'll see where this shakes out. Right now... You have the, the high for the 30 years, 4.801. We're at 4.655. And, you know, when you start putting this together, we'll see how it shakes out. But, you know, like I was talking about last week, everything, there were so many articles about bonds aren't going to stop going higher over the weekend. I mean, it was just, it was everywhere. It was literally everywhere. So we'll see how that shakes out. You know, most times, though, you know, you get a run like this, you have the news on top of it. I didn't see USA Today, but if you, if you actually get a financial news inside some kind of newspaper or magazine that has nothing to do with financials, then your probability goes up a lot more. But my take is that this is it. 
um, you know, uh, the next Fed meeting, let's take a look at this. So we have, come on, come to daddy here, one second, calendar. Okay, so. November 1st, November 4th, 1400 hours. And we're still at 525. Yeah, we're at 525 to 550. They're not going up. I, I just don't see them going up, man. Now, the question is how long are they going to stay there? But the market itself, just as I said last week, the market itself took us off zero rates. The market itself are going to take us off that 4.8. Always remember, folks, the bank and claw your heart out. The bull can run you over, and thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Go get him, folks.